Hey everybody, this is Matt with another episode of Two Different to Eat. Alright, so in today's episode, I am going to try a Chinese hot pot. It is a self-heating hot pot. And in China, hot pot is very popular. It's something you eat with friends, you sit around the table. Uh, there's various items inside of this bowl that is being heated from the uh, underneath, and it's very spicy a lot of times. Uh, all these items are in there, boiling away, and you just pick out what you want and you eat it. So uh, this is my own personal hot pot. I don't have anyone else here with me today. Uh, it's spicy, and what sets this one apart is there's an actual heating element inside of the container that heats uh, the hot pot. So. I'm gonna try this out. Everything's in Chinese, so I don't know how it's gonna work out. Uh, I can, there's pictures, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'll follow these directions. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first I'm going to show you everything that is in the container. I already took the plastic off. Uh, you have, of course, like I was saying, the, the front of it right here, uh, the container. It's in a nice little plastic container. So, remove this top. All right, so first we have this container. It's a little boy eating some noodles, looks like. I'm gonna open up that separately. Uh, looks like this is the chili oil packet. This is what makes it spicy. Uh, very thick paste, oil paste. Got some chopsticks. I'm not going to use these actually. I have some separate chopsticks here I will use. Looks like this is the container that uh, the stuff goes in to heat so that the heating element doesn't touch the food. And then we have another packet. Looks like vegetables. Complete. Looks like bamboo shoots, uh, chili, lotus, mushroom, and cabbage. And then this is the actual heating. Uh, element it does get hot but everything goes in this bowl and it heats itself so I make sure there's no holes uh, looks good all right let's get everything poured out into the bowl and then we'll we'll try it out all right so everything has to go in this little bowl that then goes into here so I'm gonna go ahead and dump everything out into here uh, open everything up so you guys can see it says to put the uh, this oil, the chili oil first. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Go ahead and open that up. All right, it's just a really thick uh, chili paste with some spices and different things. This is what really gives it its flavor. All right, it's like a brick almost. but most of it. I don't really want to get it on my hands, so I'm going to get a wipe. Set that aside right there. All right, let's open up this other packet. I believe these are the other spices. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. Uh, they're the noodles. They're, I believe, buckwheat noodles, but very rubbery, um, not very hard, they're kind of squishy. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put those in right here. Here's the vegetables uh, in this packet. Go ahead and put the vegetables in. All right, we got some bean sprouts, water chestnuts looks like, maybe. Oh, potatoes and mushrooms and wood ear. Uh, once it starts cooking, I'll show you guys all that. But let's go put that back in the package. All right. Um, and then I'm supposed to put some water in. So I have a thing of water here. Go ahead and add some water to that. Mm 
there is a line on this side over here uh, with an arrow saying don't fill above that, so I'm gonna put it in up to there. All right, this bowl. No, can't, can't really drop this, so. All right, so this is the heating element. You put this in the bottom, and then the bowl goes in there uh, to heat it up from the bottom. So uh, go ahead and open this, and make sure I don't have any water on my hands, and put it in the bottom here. Um, all right, so I don't know how quick this starts heating up, but I have to put water in here first. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna put the bowl into this other bowl. All right, it's already starting to heat, I can hear it. Oh, that's way too much already, I can tell. Oh, it's coming out everywhere. So I got a towel, I put it on the towel. I probably should have done that right off the bat because um, knowing me, I would have screwed something up anyway. So anyway, uh, it's in the container and you can definitely hear it bubbling away. I kind of want to open it. There is a heat, uh, a hole right here, but it doesn't feel like anything's coming out of it. Like I said, I, I kind of put too much water in it, so I'm hoping it has a way to get out. Well, it is heating it up. All right, as you can hear, it's going pretty good now. Uh, it's generating a lot of heat, it's pretty hot. My worry is that the inside of uh, where the noodles are, the noodles aren't gonna get cooked enough. Uh, but you can see the steam coming out of the hole right there. And I actually don't know how long uh, this is supposed to take. Uh, it's been going on probably around five minutes now. And uh, still not done. I've opened it a few times to see, uh, like to stir everything around. Well, it smells really good, so that's a positive. I'm gonna open it. Again, it's boiling away. Ah, there we go. I think it's about ready. Um, it looks like the noodles have softened considerably. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this. All right, so it's time to try it now. Uh, everything has cooked nicely. The noodles are nice and soft. The broth is hot, and spicy, and has mixed together nicely. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys each bit, basically when I eat it, uh, so you can see what's in here. Um, first, we got some seaweed, some bit of seaweed right here. And very nice. Spicy, very spicy. Now right, we got some potato here. It's a nice potato. It's a little hard, but not too bad. Um, I'm a little disappointed by the presence of uh, not as much lotus as I would want. A lotus root grows in the water. Uh, it's, it's the same root as from a lotus flower. But um, here's some lotus. It's got very interesting kind of uh, holes in it. It grows in the mud. They chop it up pretty good. It's almost like a harder potato, but it's very starchy. It's crunchy like I would expect from lotus. Um, here's some bamboo shoot. 
also very nice. And some wood ear, which is a fungus, it's a mushroom. It looks like an ear, uh, they call it the wood ear because of that. It's a regular thin mushroom. Mm. Also has some bite to it, which is what I would want. There is no meat or anything, it's all vegetables and noodles. Uh, it would have been cool if there was actually meat with it. Still very hot and still very bubbly. All right, let's try some of these noodles. Very, very spicy. I do have some water, but I'm gonna try to try to wait it out. Mmm. Those are very nice. Uh, the noodles are very soft, very tender, um, and very flavorful. So I'm a fan. All right, so I've eaten everything in it. Uh, I tried the vegetables, tried uh, the noodles. Uh, now to give you my review of, of the product. Uh, first, I'll go with the pros. The pros are everything cooked well. Uh, the noodles, the vegetables all tasted uh, very good. Uh, it um, has good flavor, uh, so that's a pro. Another pro is kind of the theatrics around it. Uh, it has its own heating element, so I was able to watch as it cooked, and it was kind of cool to, to see it bubbling and knowing that my food was being cooked right in front of me. Uh, those are kind of the pros. Uh, the cons, um, it's a little bit too spicy for me. I was making my eyes water, making my nose run. Uh, those are horrible things that, that could happen when you're eating with people. Like you don't want to be a, a blithering mess uh, when you're eating this in front of people. Uh, luckily, it was, I was by myself, so it's not really an issue. I mean, other than potentially hundreds of people watching this, you know, on 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 YouTube. But uh, other than that, um, the spiciness was a little too much for me. Uh, also, a negative of the product would be that it took a long time to cook. Like, it took at least 7 to 10 minutes for it to get to a point where I was able to eat it. Uh, so that's another con. Overall, I find myself wanting to go back and eat it some more. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, but uh, this is another food review. Uh, I try to do uh, some food reviews, different things where I go out and try uh, foods uh, in a segment called Too Different to Eat. And that's what you've watched uh, if you made it through the entire video. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel, Two Feet Two Worlds. Uh, if you are a subscriber, uh, be sure to share my videos, uh, like, comment, uh, all those good things. I appreciate all the comments that I do get, and I look forward to the next video. Uh, I'll see you on the next adventure.